I always knew that I was different growing up, just my mannerisms in general. So I think anybody, when you're young, you're kind of trying to understand that aspect about yourself. Like, I am different, and what makes me this different? Even when I was young, I would just always be like, if it didn't feel natural to who I was, I never, like I told you, if I don't love it, I don't do it. And since I was young, I've been the same way. So anytime I felt like something was unnatural or that it didn't fit, it didn't work. I didn't do it. Especially my stepdad, he taught me a lot of things just about being true to who you are, being yourself. He taught me a lot about energy, the energy that you give, and not just the base level energy lessons. Like you have to be positive. But now since my, my stepdad, he passed in 2011, now looking back, being that young and the things that he that he taught me about controlling my energy and controlling my space and just being a more evolved individual and not putting too many labels and too many things in my head to keep my energy levels caged in. Now I feel like since he's passed, it's really allowed me to understand how to kind of transform and and adapt and be limitless in that way. I am Sahir Jaquan Watson, and my job title is online coach, but I like to think of myself as a artist because I am very intentional in everything that I do, and I like to treat my life as if it was a performance. And so I always want to make sure that any work that I do, that it's artful and it's done correctly. And like I was saying, when I talk about being limitless, fitness has been like that for me. It's, it's, it's really always been fun. I've tried every form of fitness. I used to uh, teach yoga. I've done jujitsu, I, I box, I did CrossFit, I do Spartan Race. I just love all forms of fitness. So again, just, just taking that kind of limitless living type of lifestyle and not really putting a cap on movement either has really allowed for me to create a creative space and include all different kinds of movement. I think fitness empowers inclusion just by the community. There's an energy around movement where we just kind of in innately know that if we move and if we are active, we will thrive. So I feel like fitness, when someone sees happiness, especially associated with fitness, there's a click where it's like we become and it's like attracted, it's like an animal. You wanna, you wanna do it. So I think the fitness community in general is just inclusive. Even when you're sad, you know, sometimes people who I who come to me be like, I, I was in a, a dark space, you know? Like a lot of times I get emails. I get emails from around the world, which is so crazy. I get emails from places I've never even heard. And sometimes people say, you know, I'm, I was in such a dark place. It was even hard for me to type this email to ask for coaching. So you have to understand how powerful the energy of physical well-being is if you're that deep in sadness or in a depression. That even if it was hard for you to push a button to send an email, you still did it because you know inside that your well-being is that much of an importance. So, I think EHP Labs and Vitamin Shop are leading in progressiveness and inclusion and just inspiring, especially coming up with products that taste just like honey. I think what's important is to see everyone as just being human, humanizing everyone. That's the ultimate goal. Because if you create the separation, then you have to create the stigma. Then you have to create the 
this is what this person is. This is what this person does. And in true energy, there's not any one way that a person should and do. So I think for people to really start to rise, I think we need to just rise in a way where it's just, I'm doing me. And if you feel like you're in this place where you feel like you can't just do you, start small. Start small. And I encourage everyone to just be who they are. Even if you have to put a label on it, put the label, if that makes you comfortable. But if you can, if you can have the confidence and the courage to not put a label on it, I promise you'll do way more interesting, exciting, and fun things. You'll, you'll shock yourself if you take yourself out of a label. I promise. I promise. And that's, that's, that's my, that's me. That's what I believe.